Reducing stress does not have to be hard, and everything I want to share today are practices that are really easy to incorporate into everyday life. Reducing stress while keeping it simple. Let's dive in. The past seven years I've dealt with the after effects of severe stress and exhaustion, and it's not always fun, but it's given me years of experience in dealing with stress, pressure and priorities, so I hope you find some of this helpful. The first thing we're going to do is to schedule our week with a bit of flexibility. I usually sit down on Sundays and I roughly plan out my week, and I usually plot in times for breaks so I know that I have time to breathe mentally. One thing I don't particularly like is that I get tired in my head faster than regular people. So I usually schedule one hour of doing nothing every day before I pick up Max from daycare. And this is just to make sure that I have time to regain my energy before I go get him. As a family, we make sure not to overschedule our free time and weekends. We want time to just do whatever and be spontaneous. Number two is to go for walks. Get out and get some fresh air and move that body around. I actually find that when I walk, I talk out loud to myself, but if I'm stuck mentally or practically in some kind of problem, then it actually helps me to just walk around and talk it out with myself. I find that when I walk around and talk like this, it gives me a new perspective, and when I get back, I feel a lot better and I might even have solved the problem completely. So it might seem weird, but try it. Talk to yourself when you go on walks. Number three is to get things out on paper. If your head is cluttered, it helps a lot to just get it out of here and down on paper. If your head is filled with practical things, then make a to-do list. Get it out of there and make space mentally and then just get the things done. If it's more emotional thoughts that's cluttering up your mind, then journal. I'm a big journaler. I'm not even sure that's a word. I think it's a word, but I write down all my emotions, my frustrations. I just get it all out of there and I feel so much better afterwards. This is something that has really worked for me and it might work for you too. There's something therapeutic about getting things out of your head down on paper. Shift your focus. What you focus on grows and I usually do this by practicing gratitude. A few years back I used the 5 minute journal. It's a book that gives you directions to just like write down three things I think every day that you're grateful for and a few action points in there. So I'll leave the link to that book down below. But the past few years I've personally just gotten in the habit of saying out loud three things that I'm grateful for usually right before we go to bed. We'll usually do this together more than I when we're going to bed. So randomly I'll just call out give me three things and then he knows that it's three things that he's grateful for or three things that have been good during the day. And we really love doing this together because it kind of puts us in a positive mindset right before we go to bed. So we find that that works out really well. We don't do it every night, but at least a few times a week. Another way of shifting your focus can be to choose to experiment when you're doing your things. I've mentioned this before in a previous video, and I find that when I apply the mindset of experimenting, it frees up a lot of the pressure. Because experiments, they can have different outcomes. It can be A or B, but they don't fail, so I can't fail. And that just relieves a lot of pressure, and it makes it easier for me to try something new. So consider applying this mentality of experimenting and see if it works out for you. Number five is meditate. Now, I'm no pro at meditating, but I've been practicing mindfulness on and off for the past years, and there's no doubt in my mind that it works. I prefer the meditations that helps me let go of thoughts and feelings and just refocusing back on the breath. And the body scan meditations, which helps me relax my body and just turn my head off for a bit. I found a few short ones that I like, and I'll leave the link to them in the description down below if you're interested. Another way that can really help reduce stress is to limit your input streams. The more information I fill my head with, the more I have to process. I tend to stay off the news and social media as much as possible, and try to limit my use of social media to mainly Instagram, and then I have the Facebook Messenger app, primarily just because it's super practical that people can reach me, and I can reach other people whose phone number I don't have. Other than that, I really try to stay off social media completely. I'm not saying be uninformed, I'm just saying be conscious of how much you ask your head to process of new information every day. Primetime news and random social media is just more data for my brain to process and it makes my stress level go up. Find a good in-depth news program that you can watch or a documentary or maybe listen to an audiobook. These are all things that will inform you on things, but it's a lot more conscious choice and you get to weed out all the clutter. 
Number seven is so simple and probably the practice that I use the most. It's deep breaths. Deep breaths calms my body and refocuses my mind. When I take just a few seconds to reconnect, it releases a lot of the stress in my body and in my mind. And it's so simple. I hope you found some of these practices helpful. If you have more to add, then please leave them down in the comments so we can all benefit from them. I also just want to say that if you watch my videos on a regular basis and haven't said hi yet, please do so down in the comments. I love getting to know you guys and hearing your stories as well. So please do that if you feel like it. And I'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you.